Welcome back to Tutorials and thanks for joining us for week 11. There is little doubt that the tea latte has seen a recent surge in popularity. For many tea connoisseurs, making these drinks may seem like a waste of perfectly good tea. On the other hand, we must pay attention to what people want. And the reality is that a well-made tea latte can taste really great. It also adds a sort of trendy fun side to tea drinking and there is certainly plenty of scope for being creative in coming up with new and wonderful flavour combinations. The rise of the tea latte is largely down to the chain shops offering the tea drinker a sweet milky alternative to fall in line with the many coffee offerings. Perhaps the beginning of this trend was the advent of the chai latte or chai tea latte, very much based on a traditional method of making chai masala tea in India where the core ingredients are black tea, spices, sugar and milk. The sweet and spicy chai latte paved the way for many new creations and today tea and coffee shops the world over offer tea lattes based on Earl Grey tea, green tea, rooibos tea and many more. The best place to start is maybe with the basic ideas that create any latte drink. You need a strong base flavour which is diluted with hot milk. In coffee, this is normally shots of espresso. The biggest challenge with creating a tea latte is that tea is far more delicate in flavour than coffee to begin with. In our experience, there are a couple of rules to therefore keep in mind when you're creating your tea latte combinations. Try to consider using stronger flavour teas and brew the tea a little longer than normal to get deeper flavour extraction. The chain coffee shops find the best way around these challenges is to use a pre-made mixture of tea concentrate. These are not something we all have access to. In your home, you can use spices, flavourings and a basic sugar syrup mix to sweeten and flavour your drinks. Often there are natural products available to fulfil this purpose. Honey, for example. In your cafe, you may have access to coffee syrups, which will make drink creation a little more convenient. Before we consider a few examples, to help you with your tea latte combination, here is a sort of format we have used over the years which works for most tea latte creations. These are based on using a 14 ounce mug. Number 1. Pick your base tea. Brew it as you normally would in terms of tea to water ratio, but brew it for 4 to 5 minutes. In a busy cafe, perhaps double up your tea to water ratio and continue to brew for 3 minutes. Number 2. Choose a flavour or syrup you think will complement your drink. Most syrups dispense through pumps. 3 pumps is usually enough. This should equate to about 12 millilitres of flavour roughly three teaspoons. Of course, this whole step is optional. You may not want your drink sweetened or flavoured at all. Number three, if you're using a syrup or flavour, add this to the mug first. Number four, pour in two to three quarters of a mug of the hot tea. Five, top off the drink with steamed or warmed milk. Six, review your creation. When reviewing, consider, is it too sweet? Can I taste the tea? Did I scold the milk? Can I taste the secondary flavour? In a cafe, sample with your customers and request their feedback. Here are a few examples to get you going. The London Fog. Apparently invented in Canada, this is an Earl Grey based tea latte. Your mixture is Earl Grey tea, vanilla syrup and hot milk. The Cape Town Fog The South African version of the London Fog and of course this means using rooibos as the base tea. Modern versions involve using rooibos, vanilla syrup and hot milk. Years ago we heard that many kids grow up drinking hot milky rooibos drinks sweetened with honey. In our opinion this drink works best using honey rather than vanilla syrup. The Chai Latte There is a lot of chai tea syrup available. It can be great for sweetening your drink if you want it to be sweet. We would however always recommend making the tea with real tea also. 
So use your tea, such as the Wee Tea Company Ginger Chai as your base, sweeten with chai syrup, or make your own using spices and sugar syrup, and top off with your hot milk. Brilliant in the winter time. Remember, tea lattes are becoming more and more popular. There are hundreds of different recipes available online, but the real fun here may be in creating your own drinks. We're always keen to help and advise wherever we can, so whether it's in your home or your cafe, please get in touch with your ideas and let us know if we can help you in any way. Next week, we will be considering iced tea drinks. See you there.